What's up, guys? I'm back here. Uh, it's been a couple days. I've been trying to catch up on my uh, uploading. Um, so I was just looking over my quests and stuff of what I have to do, and it looks like I've got a couple from the Brotherhood of Steel to go to Beantown Brewery and the Fiddler's Green Estates. Or something like that. Yeah, and they're pretty close to one another, and I'll be turning in the quest here and here. So it's like real perfect, real tight and convenient. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and run from uh, Hangman's Alley over to Beantown Brewery, and I will start the recording again when I get there. Just out of, just outside of Hangman's Alley, uh, when you turn left and head down the uh, head down the river, as if you're going to Overland Station, there's always a random encounter right around here. And sure enough, there's one this time too. There's bandits over here in this house, so I'm gonna film it. Do some fighting. Maybe there was just one. <laughs> I assumed there would be more. Ha ha! I found a weed whacker that I can drag into town. Found it on the road back there. I'm going to drag it in here to uh, Overland Station and scrap it. If I can get it through the fence line, which I can't. It doesn't matter. I can always just destroy that fence. Alright, I'm going to top off with water and food, actually. Just eat a couple of noodle cups. Should do it. Yeah, I'm still going to top off anyway just because. I'm going to talk to these villagers and then I'll start recording again. And here we are at the Bean Town Brewery. Heading in. Looking for the haptic drive thing. So it's just a retrieval quest for the Brotherhood of Steel. Oh, did I sneak? Uh, okay. Sorry, yeah. All right. Uh, I forgot to drop off that other armor. I'll take this metal armor. I'm not going to pick up all these uh, empty bottles uh, on camera, but I am going to go through this place. As you can see, it's a brewery, and it has tons and tons of empty bottles, like, everywhere. So I'm going to go through and scoop them all up to make dirty waters and noodle cups with eventually but for now I'm just gonna make it through the place matter of fact I'm gonna sleep right here oh maybe not got a bad guy nearby I don't know this dungeon very well I mean I'm sure I've done it a few times but I can't recall it doesn't seem familiar to me so far oh I kinda remember yeah Oh. Think you can hide? Damn. That little guy was hauling ass. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Run away <laughs> on fire. <laughs> okay. I'm sure someone's going to chunk another malt off in here. No more Molotovs. Maybe he was the last one. I don't know.
Miracle! It's a bed. Oh, there's the haptic drive. I'm gonna check out both of these sniper rifles. Um, just suppressed by chance. If they have a suppressor on them, then I can swap mine out for it. It's the only reason I'm still using this old beat up pipe pistol or pipe sniper rifle is because it's suppressed, you know. I I know I could make a, a more powerful one, one that does more damage anyway, but you know, I prefer the silence over that, so I'm just kinda of rushing through this. Oh no. Okay. Pause it. So I just saw almost walked by this a few times. So when you're down at the very bottom of the Beantown Brewery in the large room here, you've got the chemistry station, a duffel bag, a, a bed to sleep in and get a save game. Well, right behind you here are a bunch of crates, and they're all full like these are with bo empty bottles and other stuff, mostly empty bottles from what I've seen. So be sure to not miss that, because I missed it once, and I just wanted to let you guys know that it was there. It's a lot of meals right there. I'll be right back. Let me finish up. Oh, looks like I found the area I haven't been to yet. Get some, motherfucker! Oh, ah! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Wasn't expecting him to come from up there. Oh, hey, little stubber. I'll give you that. Ah! Oh God. Combat rifle. Wow. As loot. That's the highest level rifle I've actually found on a guy, anyway. Uh, okay, that just went over again. Okay, let me drop some loot. Just got jumped by a Rad Roach or two. I'm very encumbered, so I'm not really picking up much of anything that weighs anything. Um, oops, everything does. So, I've got a quest marker down there. Oh, I think that's just the front door. Yeah, it is. So I guess I'm done in here. I'm going to go ahead and scoop up some of these bottles before I head out, and I'll start recording again when I get done. <clears throat> okay, I think I pretty much looted the Beantown Brewery about as, as good as I could. And it's a rad storm. Now I'm going back in. <laughs> I'm going to find that little bed by the front door there that we just found and sleep in it again, and let that storm pass theory. Oops, ah, I meant to move that up to two hours so I could have some, uh, some daylight. Two noodle cups should take care of that. Okay. Alright, I'm totally full of gear, so what I'm gonna do, it's a little out of the way, but I gotta run to back to Hangman's Alley and drop off this gear. Then I'm gonna go do the other quest and turn them all in. I'll, I'll record when I get to the location uh, at the beginning of the other quest. Found a little raider walking down the street here. 
in this one little intersection where there's always an encounter. I mean, you gotta really be careful walking through here. Oh god, I think that's Cricket. Yeah, that's Cricket the merchant. I nearly took her head off. Should buy spray and pray. I don't know how much money I have. I don't have enough. She does have a lot of good stuff, though. I don't think she's going to have anything that I need or want. But I suppose I could run check it out. You never know. Alright, I'm going to go catch up to her. Check out her inventory. See if she has anything useful, beneficial. I, I can't imagine what it would be. Unless she has a silenced sniper rifle, but a real one. Like a hunting or combat rifle that's silenced. Come on, come on! Get your guns here. Small booms, big booms. I got them all. Okay. What's up? Let's see what you have. Just think how damn good it'll feel. Hold <clears throat> she doesn't have any 556 five, ammo. I'm going to go ahead and start hoarding 556 five, now because I know that when I, once I get access to assault rifles, I'll be using them exclusively. That and Justice shotgun. Okay. Not interested in any of her ammo right now. Okay, I'm going to pause it. Okay, I grabbed a little ammo and some, uh, I'm pretty good dress up. Little ammo, got some, uh, antibiotics. Junk like that. So, pretty set up. I'm going to head back home and uh, put all this stuff up, and then I'll get back to the questing. Okay, run into Diamond City in order to see a doctor to get my illness cured. Got my sea captain's hat on. Uh, I don't know if you guys know about a sea captain's hat, but it's plus two to endurance, and so it allows you to run a little bit longer before tiring, or sprint a little bit longer before you get tired. Uh, John gave me some advice about using my vault suit after modifying it in the armor workshop. It can actually be better than road leathers. And I always looked at it as two points of ballistic defense on road leathers was better than the five points of energy defense on vault suit. But I didn't realize you could crank up the vault suit either, so I went ahead and did that. And I'm also approaching that level in my uh, run here where I'm going to start encountering more energy weapons from robots, gunners, and so on. So I went ahead and took his advice and made that switch. I'm going to go get cured and everything, probably sell a few things, and I'll start recording again. See you guys on the flip side. From my cousin. He knows a okay, guy that so I got the quest to go to Valentine Detective Agency, so I went ahead and ran down here. The freedom trail. Probably, I'm going to do this and a couple other things I'm probably going to level. So I figured I'd go ahead and record some of it here. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too... I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh -huh. Sweet, she couldn't resist that red dress. Don't worry, All right. I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang. There's an old vault down there that they use. Uh, okay, just hey, I'd piece. love to help. Money, huh? Damn. Sure. Rocket. <laughs> More money. That's terrible. Sure <laughs> Come on. Fine. We'll make no it 150 way. calves. I'll try it. Why not? Give me some XP. Last chance. Don't play games. Oh, okay. hmm. I'll find him. Thank you. Nick should be. Oh boy. So yeah, that's a fun quest. Uh, a little difficult. Uh, I guess that's all I have to do in here for now. All right, I'm gonna save the game. Head to the next objective here. Going to see the old wall paint guy get that quest. Working hard? I don't think it's very far. Either, don't touch so the paint. Probably do it on the way. Don't worry, I won't. Good. Thinking you need. Uh -huh. Happy to help out. You see this paint? Hardware town. Rune store close by to the west. Yeah. Only if you throw in. Fine. Pay you. Fine. 
I money. think you can do better than that. Driving a hard bargain, huh? Oh. Sucker. Okay. Last chance. Make God, this worth my this while, one. or I walk. A good Samaritan. Paint yeah, retrieval. Everybody. I'm on it. Much obliged. And we're like off. Painting the town. The okay. That is on oh. everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 oh. years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me. And I just woke up, slept at the dugout inn. Drinking a couple noodle cups. That takes care of everything. I'm going to go talk to Piper. By. Finish that quest. Up, yeah, holding up. Look, I'm just going to say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be... So here's the deal. Mm -hmm. You do that? All right, Piper. I'm good. So I know you're from... Oh, a I just hmm. remembered how My kind of long and, and drawn out frozen. this could be, so I'm going to pause it. I didn't... Convinced Piper to come live at Hangman's Alley. Got her decked out in a little bit of umpire gear and whatnot. And I'm off, man. I'm going to go to Hardware Town, I believe, is the quest I'm doing. It's the closest one, so that's what I'm going to go there. Alright, I'll pick, pick, pick it back up when I get there. So I turned a bad corner, <laughs> got jumped by three mongrel dogs, one of which was legendary, and got some kind of crappy pipe bolt action pistol. Critical hits cause target to frenzy. Mm -hmm. Totally useless to me since I don't use critical hits in any way. Like, you don't get critical hits unless you use bats. You have to actually save them up and use them specifically. You don't get a critical hit naturally like it. Most games, like, you know, we played all of our lives. Doesn't work that way in Fallout 4. So because I don't use critical hits of any kind, uh, that one's just trash. And I'll continue to make my way to Hardware Town. Ow! Face me, you coward! <laughs> turned and tried to run, man. I just didn't get there in time. Okay, luckily I saved right before I left Hangman's Alley, so I will go ahead and uh, catch back up to where I just died and see you guys in a minute. Hey, man, you never know. Maybe that mongrel dog will have a different legendary item, but I don't think so. I think he's already loaded. I'm close enough to that area for it to have loaded. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I just killed the mongrel dogs and they had the same thing. Got this super mutant and another one inside uh, here. Nothing. Didn't have time to record, it got a little hectic. Damn, he saw me. Huh? A noise! I found you! Pick a caliber rounds, that's always nice. Nice little lag spike there, I don't know what point. Okay, now if I can finally make my way to Hardware Town, which is what we're trying to do. I just haven't been through much of downtown, so everywhere I go is pretty much a battle.
looks like I'm gonna make it this time. What the hell was that? She's going to die. She needs help. Pick a ball! Too bad that wasn't a limb. <laughs> so I could loot that guy. <laughs> Letters for my villagers later, even though I'm not going to be settlements a whole lot during this run. Still, yeah, I don't mess around with the chick out front of Hardware Town. I don't even talk to her, try and you know take part in any of the uh, storyline that she so tries long. to give. I, I just know kill I just her. saw someone out there. This one looked like a good mark, so just shut up and wait! The bottom of some kind. Maybe they went around back. Should we go check the loading dock? Tell I think stuff. this is the one bottle type that doesn't work for... ...for dirty water. This is an antifreeze hey, bottle, hey, hey. or empty cooler. Yeah, stop it talking. doesn't work. Say another word, and I will make sure that you don't annoy me ever again. Screws. Seriously, though, what if it... Hey! Hey! What the hell? What? I warned him. I shut up and make sure you're ready. I'll fill up and have to drop that, but I'm gonna pick it up for now just because. See if I can make it home today, you know. Alright, I, I got both these guys, right? Yeah, okay. Well, that's about it for Hardware Town. I'm gonna go down there and mix the paint and all that junk. Not very exciting for a video, so I'm going to go ahead and mix the green paint and I'll start the video back up. You're back. You find that paint? Wasn't easy, but I found some, yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint? Sure. Abbott. Mmm. That's a good shade of green. <laughs> Happy to help. It's nice to work with someone. Yes. And we're out of here. Okay, I'm gonna stop recording until I get to the Mass Pike Tunnel. I think. I think that's where I'm gonna go next. We'll see.